This video was released for free under a Creative Commons license. If you find our videos useful, please consider supporting us and visit cryptnode.org slash donate for options. Thank you. In our previous tutorial, you learned how to set up FreeNX. Now let's move on to installing the OpenNX client and we'll remote desktop into our FreeNX server. Open a browser and go to openNX.net. Click download, then scroll down to the Debian and Ubuntu repositories. Next, open a terminal to import the release key. Copy and paste the wget command into the terminal and add sudo between the pipe and apt-key. Wait a few seconds, then enter your password to complete the import. Copy the Ubuntu 12.04 repository, then open the sources list. sudo mousepad slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. Paste the repository at the bottom, then save and close the file. Now update apt. sudo apt-get update. Finally, let's install OpenNX. sudo apt-get install OpenNX. OpenNX has been installed, but there's a problem. If you try to connect, you'll receive an error due to a missing library. Luckily, there's a fix. Launch the client in a terminal with a library path. LD underscore library underscore path equals slash USR slash lib slash open NX slash lib NX client. It works, but isn't ideal. Instead, let's automatically include the path sudo mousepad slash etc slash ld dot so dot conf dot d slash random libs dot conf. In the editor, type slash usr slash lib slash open nx slash lib. Save and close the file, then type sudo ld config. We can now launch the OpenNX client from the application menu and connect without receiving an error. The OpenNX client may occasionally hang while trying to resume a session. Waiting a few minutes and trying again normally works, or you can try restarting your computer. If you have any issues typing the P or tab keys, please go to superuser.com a slash 593-688 and update your keyboard shortcuts XML file.